Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to Penny's Reading Nook. I'm here on a Tuesday morning, and I'm glad to, to kind of see you. I got my x-ray vision going, and I can see you out there. Some of you look a little sleepy, but that's okay. It's a good day to get started, okay? Well, because it's Tuesday, I have a question for you. And our question is, it's called Toasty Tuesday. What is the best thing to have on toast? So you think about that. When you're having your breakfast in the morning, what is your favorite thing to have on toast? And if you want, have your parents uh, reply on the Patches Facebook page and we'll see. What do you like to eat on toast? Myself, I like a little bit of butter and a little bit of strawberry jam. And I also like cinnamon toast really well. So those are my favorite things. So respond, let us know. What do you like on your toast in the mornings? Well, there's no need to continue to talk about toast, is there? Let's get started with a book. Today I have a very special book. This book is called I Promise. It was written by LeBron James and it was illustrated by Nina Mata. And I hope I pronounced her name correctly. All right. I like the artwork and the colors that's used in this book. And again, this was written by LeBron James, I Promise. I promise to work hard and do what's right, to be a leader in this game of life. I promise to go to school and read as much as I can, to follow the rules and respect the game plan. I promise to run full court and show up each time to get right back up and let my magic shine. I promise to be open and try new things and enjoy the happy that change can bring. Look like they're having a lot of fun, don't they? I promise to wear a big smile and use kindness when I speak, to remain strong yet humble with every win and defeat. I promise to ask for help whenever I need it, to reach for my star even when I can't see it. I promise to ask questions and find answers, to believe in next time and second chances. I promise to use my voice and stand up for what's right, and when things get tough, to keep up the fight. I promise to stand tall, rise up, and give all that I've got, to throw the alley-oop and uplift others on the spot. I promise to respect my elders and peers the same, to leave new places better than I came. I promise to stay true, keep my head up, and never give up, no matter what. I promise to dream big and love bigger, to be a team player and a winner. I promise to cross bridges and break down walls, to rise with the sun and learn from the falls. I promise to be courageous, to be free, and to strive for greatness. I promise to be me. All right, and right here is a letter that was written by LeBron James that kind of talks about this I promise. And I'm going to go ahead and read this to you, okay? Um, this is by the LeBron James and Family Foundation. It says, Your Promise. The I Promise School was inspired by the big dreams of kids in my hometown and around the world. It is a place committed to helping them and their families reach their full potential. At the start of every school year and repeated each morning, all students make a set of promises to themselves, just like those in this book. Setting goals, working hard, and holding yourself accountable are the first steps to success. We're excited to have you join in this journey to achieve your goals. Here is our daily promise to get you started. Remember, nothing is given, everything is earned. LeBron James. And right here it says, I promise to go to school, to do all of my homework, to listen to my teachers because they will help me learn, 
to ask questions and find answers, to never give up no matter what, to always try my best, to be helpful and respectful to others, to live a healthy life by eating right and being active, to make good choices for myself, to have fun, and above all else, to finish school. Hashtag strive for greatness. All right. You know what? That's a pretty good, pretty important message right there. And there's a picture of LeBron James and his family there. And I think that's something that we can do here. We can make our own set. When we get up in the mornings, we'll just make us a set of goals. And I do every morning when I get up, I say, I promise to always be humble and kind in my actions and in my words. And you know, sometimes it's really hard, but you just got to keep saying it to yourself over and over. I can do this. Just like those promises in that book. You guys can do it. I know you can. I have faith in you. I know you can do it. Okay. So I want you to do that today. Okay. Make up a list of promises, a set of goals. Maybe it's just one or two things and that's fine. And then just work at them. And I know you can strive for greatness. All right. Well, the project I have to kind of go along with that, because at the end of the book, it had that, I promise to be me. And what I did is I thought, you know what? We'll just get us a piece of paper that we can, um, we're going to put our name on it, and then just draw some things that you happen to like to do. And that way, when you, you can put it on your wall somewhere in your house or in your bedroom, or when you go back to school, if you're in one of the groups that's going to go back to school, Take it to school and show your teacher. And you're like, hey, this is me. My name is, and see, I've got my name there, Penny. And when I wrote my name there, I thought, you know what? I'm going to try to figure out a way to get all my letters. They have to touch each other. And I just didn't want my name to go in a straight line. I was trying to be creative. And my favorite color happens to be, does anybody out there know? If you're in my class, you know, my favorite color is gray. So I wrote my name with a gray Sharpie. And then here are some of the things that I like to do. I like to sit outside at night and watch the night skies. And I love to watch lightning bugs. I always, they relax me. So I've got a mason jar there and I like to collect mason jars. And it says night skies and fireflies. Then down here, I have a picture of an oven. Now I didn't get my oven colored because, well, I didn't have a gray crayon when I was working on this. And I thought, well, you know what? I'll just trace my oven and I'll color on camera for the kids to see. That's something that I like to do. I like to cook. I like to try new recipes. Do, 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 do. Another thing I like to do is on the evenings and the weekend, my husband Scott and I, we go out on our side by side. And our side by side is gray and lime green. It has a lime green trim on it. And we like to go out and ride on our side by side. So I'm going to color that in. And one other thing I like to do is I like to spend time with my cat. And what's my cat's name? My cat's name is Dog. She thinks she's a dog, so we call her Dog. And she's gray and black together. So I just kind of mixed them all together. Okay? So that's what I want you guys to do at home today. Get you out your cray, get the crayons out, markers, um, get creative. Think of the things that you like to do. And draw it on a piece of paper with your name on it. And like I said, when you go back to school, take it to school and say, look, hi, my name is Penny. And I like to look at the night sky and fireflies. I like to cook. I like to ride on a side-by-side. -side, and I like to spend time with my cat. And then your teacher, she already knows something about you. All right? So I hope you have a lot of fun with that, boys and girls. And you know what? That's it for me today. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Have lots of fun. Remember, strive for greatness.